This video shows good and better practices to improve poultry welfare around transport. Use a well-maintained, clean truck with protection against bad weather. The farmer should order enough solid, safe and clean crates to match the birds being transported. Even better are crates with large sliding doors where toes and heads cannot poke through. Water must be available up until catching. Before the journey, adult birds should be fasted to minimize feces production. Fast should be at least 4 hours before departure and preferably no more than 12 hours. Birds never should be fasted longer than 24 hours. Park the vehicle in an optimal position. Protect the loading area from rain, snow, heavy winds and bright sun. Look out for broken bones, difficulties in walking or breathing and other obvious clinical signs. Do not load unfit birds. They must instead be euthanized by a professional. Herd, catch and carry the birds gently to nearby containers and crates. Move slowly without making too much noise to catch without injuring or bruising. Ideally, Catch them by two legs and support their bodies when carrying. End of lay hens are fragile and rough handling can easily lead to bone fractures, so be careful. Catch them with one hand around both legs and use the other hand to support their breast. Even better is to catch the end of lay hens upright around wings and chest, in this case with maximum two birds a time. Never catch and carry more than three end-of-lay hens at once. Gently put the birds into the containers, considering the required space for each species. Close the containers carefully, making sure no body parts are trapped. Load the containers gently onto the truck, making sure they do not tilt or fall. On warm days, it is important to stimulate airflow in the vehicle by leaving some of the containers empty. Wet birds should not be transported. If exceptionally wet birds must be transported, avoid loading them in the rear part of the vehicle, as this is the coldest area. Be careful when driving. Drive smoothly. Anticipate traffic. Change gears and accelerate gently. Maintain constant speed. Take curves carefully, especially when crossing roundabouts. Avoid sudden and hard braking. Use, whenever possible, highways. Bad road conditions increase the vehicle vibration. Provide water or hydrogel and feed to the birds traveling more than 12 hours, taking into account loading and unloading time. When hot, open the covers. When cold, close the covers. Park the vehicle in a shady area. It allows breeze to blow across the trailer. Place the truck far from other vehicles for animal transport to avoid reduced airflow and risk of disease spreading. Are the animals huddling together? Are the animals panting? These are clear indicators of the need to adjust the ventilation Park the truck in the covered unloading area that provides a wide, clear, straight path from the vehicle to the resting area. If unloading areas are not available, birds in transit or awaiting slaughter cannot remain in a parked truck for more than two hours. In such cases, it is advisable to drive the vehicle to allow better air circulation until the unloading can begin. Any unfit birds must be immediately euthanized by a professional. The slaughterhouse should record the dead on arrival DOA rate. If the DOA rate is above the limit, the transporter and the farmer should be informed and will be expected to provide information about the transport and catching conditions. After unloading, the truck has to be cleaned and disinfected. For more details and tips on how to ensure the welfare of birds during transport, Check out the Guide to Good Practices for Transport of Poultry or the Dedicated Poultry Fact Sheets. This video has been produced in the framework of the EU Transport Guides project. For further information, 
visit the website animaltransportguides.eu.